In the spring of 2018, the North Carolina Department of Transportation was one of 10 organizations to be awarded a spot in the FAA's Innovative Drone Integration Pilot Program, or IPP. It is an honor for us at North Carolina to be selected for the FAA's UAS Integration Pilot Program. From the Wright Brothers' first flight at Kitty Hawk in 1903, our state has been at the forefront of aviation innovation. The tradition continues today with this announcement. The NC Integration Pilot Program is a big win for our state. We are first in aviation, and uh, with this win, we should be the first in package delivery, medical package delivery, and standard package delivery. We have focused on infrastructure, and we continue to focus on aviation infrastructure. UAS, or drones, is the next step. The program is a chance for state, local, and tribal governments to partner with the private sector to accelerate the safe and beneficial incorporation of unmanned aircraft systems, also known as drones. The program will help gather knowledge to be used in the crafting of future rules and regulations around complex drone operations. There's so much interest around this technology and the opportunities that are here. We're no different than uh, many other places with uh, some of the concerns and, and challenges, but I feel like we've got a very progressive state and group of legislators that want to actually do something with this to, to keep North Carolina in the, in the front. We're hoping that the IPP will be a continuation of the existing research and commercialization efforts that the FAA has already spun up that will allow us to overcome those last remaining regulatory hurdles in a way that allows us to expand these commercial opportunities while still keeping the airspace safe. For its program, NCDOT will test unmanned package delivery in urban, suburban, and rural areas, eventually allowing healthcare providers and other local businesses to make critical deliveries faster and at a reduced cost. Our participation in this program is also going to highlight the full potential of using drones for commercial and government use. Uh, so the goals of the IPP are to really accelerate the routine adoption of these technologies. The first part of the program to launch will be urban medical package delivery in Raleigh, as WakeMed and Matternet team up to bring blood samples from clinics to a central testing facility. So what's exciting about North Carolina winning the IPP announcement for us was that we've been working with WakeMed for uh, probably a couple of years now, trying to figure out a way to get going with them. Um, and up until recently, we've been held back by uh, regulations restricting drone operations. The IPP finally allowed us a chance to move forward with that customer. I hope that this is one of the first places in the country that really gets to see a full commercial implementation of things like medical package delivery. Uh, some of the partners that are working with us on the IPP have a long history of being able to deliver life-saving materials, blood, vaccinations to areas that need them in countries around the world. We would really like to see those similar kinds of functionalities here for the residents of North Carolina. The program will eventually fan out to other parts of the state testing the delivery of vaccines and other medicines to more rural areas. Zipline designs, manufactures, and operates drones that deliver blood and other life-saving medicines um, to some of the world's most hard-to-reach places um, in any weather over any terrain. And our role in the IPP is going to be to bring that technology home to the United States. To test drones in a more suburban setting, NCDOT is partnering with Flytrex to conduct food delivery in Holly Springs. We'll be offering the residents of uh, Holly Springs in North Carolina uh, an on-demand food delivery service uh, using drones. Customers will be able to order their favorite dishes using an online interface and having their food delivered to their backyard just in a couple of minutes. As the program advances, NCDOT and its partners are committed to protecting the safety and privacy of the public. Fordham Technologies builds small, lightweight radars uh, that can be used as sensors for a variety of things and in particular in the IPP we're going to be partnering with some of the other IPP members in, in implementing their technology and our sensors into them. So if you think about what air traffic control uses for manned traffic, uh, we do the same thing for drones. Our system lets drone operators get air, airspace, plan flights, uh, get authorization for flights into restricted airspace and in the future it'll allow jurisdictions like North Carolina to manage traffic. The United States airspace is one of the most complex in the world and it has some very stringent safety regulations. We really need to get up there and operate, control fashion, trusted operators, collect the data that the regulators need so that they can move forward. We're all about uh, looking at that information, looking at data, helping FAA figure out what it is that we don't know and what are the concerns that, that haven't been really even discussed yet or even discovered. 
So my message to the public would be, you know, prepare for this new exciting technology. I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. I think once you start using it, you're going to think, how did I ever get along without this? The drones are going to have a piece in just about every business sector and industry, industry sector that there is. So uh, we know there's going to be impacts. We know that it's going to uh, uh, impact aviation, but not just aviation. It's going to ripple out into every other industry and business sector you can imagine. That's why we're here. We think that um, you know, North Carolina is making a huge investment in, in drone technology. There's universities in the RTP area in particular that are investing in, in drone technology, and you know, we want to be part of that. It's going to um, help accelerate a, a brand new technology, a new mode of transportation in the U.S. Uh, some people are, are comparing uh, drones to, to a change as big as the jet age. Yeah, I think this is a huge opportunity for you know, North Carolina to make its state um, a center of drone innovation and to bring a bunch of innovative companies to North Carolina. I think this is one of the best places to do business in the United States and we look forward to the results of the IPP generating a lot of uh, both innovation opportunities and employment opportunities here in the state. It's definitely good for the economy as well, it means a lot of jobs will be created, it will put North Carolina as an innovative hub, so yeah, only good things to come. The history of aviation in North Carolina we know goes way back to the 1900s and what occurred out on the, uh, the Outer Banks and the sandy shores of North Carolina. I think there's just this internal motivation by so many of us that we want to continue that and be historical in what we can do with drones. It's hard to think that 115 years where aviation has taken us and I feel like we'll be saying the same thing in less than 100 years. It's going to be hard to think, you know, what drones did for us. There's so many opportunities here, it just, uh, it's exciting. The program is set to last three years. After some initial testing, the first flights will begin in the fall of 2018. As drones become an ever more present part of our lives, North Carolina will remain at the forefront of innovation.